So folks, never mind that GTX 1050 Ti, what you need is an RX 470, or if you can stretch it, an RX 570. Well, that's fantastic. A really smart decision, young man. And it's gone. Uh, what? It's gone. It's all gone. Or at least that's probably what I would have been telling you about two months ago. Thanks to the sudden viability of cryptocurrency mining, the one time best value for money gaming GPU, AMD's Polaris 10 based RX line is now pretty much out of reach for all gamers. And if you missed the boat, then I'm afraid that buying a new GPU just got a little bit more expensive. And this increase in price is not just limited to the AMD side either, with even the RX 470 now costing over £300 in some cases, and an 8GB RX 480 costing nearly £400. This has meant that more gamers are simply turning to the GTX 1060 for their mid-range kicks. The only trouble is that that is now pushing up the price of the 1060 branded cards. You've got to love a gold rush. So what should you do? Well in this video I'm going to break it down into two groups of people, those that have a Polaris 10 base card and those that were going to buy them, maybe holding off until they got the required funds in place and have now found themselves priced out of the card. So for the folks looking to buy a new GPU, what are the options now that AMD has pretty much vacated the sub £200 market? Well, at the low end of this market, we've got the GTX 1050 Ti. Now, I know I've given this card a really hard time in the past, but when the RX 470 was priced competitively, it was the better choice. I mean, at the beginning of the year, it would have been daft to buy a GTX 1050 Ti over the RX 470, unless you needed to fit it into an old workstation or your rig had a terrible PSU. But if you miss that boat and your budget is at the low end of between £100 and £200, then the GTX 1050 Ti is really the only option you've got. Just be aware though, that crypto bubbles do burst. And when it does, there is going to be an absolute flood of RX branded cards onto the marketplace, which will perform better than the GTX 1050 Ti. So it's something to bear in mind. For a little bit more, maybe 50 or 60 pounds more than the 1050 Ti, you can still kind of pick up a GTX 1060 3GB, which is the cut down version of the GTX 1060 6GB. You are going to be a little bit limited to the brand that you buy in the sub £200 price point, but there are still a few cards kicking about that sneak into that sub £200 bracket. So what about used cards then? Well, for me it has to be the GTX 970. It now looks like a better buy than ever. Used examples can still be hard for around the price that an RX 470 should be. And in most games you're going to be getting pretty much identical performance as you'll have seen in my recent reviews. In some games it'll pull ahead of the RX cards, in some games it'll fall behind, but performance on the whole is pretty much identical. But the key thing here is that it is always going to be faster than the GTX 1050 Ti, and it overclocks like a beast. But as this segment of the GPU market starts having less and less cards available for sale in it, you can maybe expect the prices of those GTX 970s to start creeping up, but there should still be time to get one at a reasonable cost. So how about the red team then? Does AMD have anything to offer? Well, crypto mining values power as well as efficiency, and this means that the last generation card, in particular the R9 380, which kinda competes roughly with the 1050 Ti, are not experiencing the same spikes in price simply because they are less desirable for crypto mining. Looking online you can see that for around the same price as a 1050 Ti, you can maybe snag a 380, but I would say at this stage the 1050 Ti is probably the better bet. But this does paint a bleak picture and it's a little bit disappointing that this area of the market's really dried up. I mean it was only a couple of months ago that I picked up my XFX RX 488GB GTR Black Edition card for £160. So this kind of leads me on to part 2 of this video, what should you do if you've got an RX card which has all of a sudden became a appreciating asset which is kind of unheard of in GPU terms. Well first of all if you were considering an upgrade anyway then just sell it. There's likely never going to be a better time to do so. But if like me you just bought it at the right time, I mean spending £160 and selling it for double is probably not out of the question, it does give you some food for thought. But it all depends on how much you're actually going to get. 
let's say you stick the card on eBay and you manage to get about £350 for it. After shipping, eBay's fees and the PayPal transaction fee, you're going to be left with about £290. So what can you get for just under £300 that offers better or similar performance to the RX 480? Well, a GTX 1070 it performs better and it's sadly going to be out of the question, with the cheapest prices still just slipping under the £400 mark. A GTX 1060 6GB version is going to be in that price range and you should basically be able to pick any variant you fancy and still be left with a little bit of money in pocket. But is there another way? I'm sure you all know that I like to look on the used market and this is where you can maybe find a really shrewd purchase. The GTX 980 Ti, the Maxwell line's really its crown and jewel. Looking on eBay, you can pick up any one of a number of variants that are sitting at around £300. So if you manage to sell that RX line card and pick up a 980 Ti for the same price, you're basically getting an extra 25% free performance. So there you have it folks, I mean 6 months a lot changes, AMD is now unobtainable and Nvidia represents the value option, it's a weird industry. But if you're going to act, do so quickly, the market can snap round in an instant, but there are still some bargains to be had on the back of this crypto rush. Now I've got to try and figure out what I want to do with my 480, I'd absolutely love to hear what you guys think in the comments down below. But I'll leave it there for the moment folks, remember to leave a like if you liked it and join in the discussion below. As always, take care and I'll see you in the comment section down there and in the next video.